What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I've got a great topic for you guys today. We're gonna to talk about how to become debt free. Debt causes a lot of stress. Uh, a lot of people are in such deep debt they really can't sleep at night and they work hard just to keep paying down their debt. And sometimes it seems like it's hard or even impossible to get out of. And for some of us, it's one of our dreams to be debt free. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about today. Sometimes when you're in debt, it can feel like you have this overwhelming weight on your shoulders that just won't go away until you pay it off. But you know for a fact, you're probably not gonna be able to pay that debt off for like five to 10 years, if that. That was the exact same weight that I felt when I first graduated from college. I was about 32K in debt. And this was just pure student loans. I didn't have any other kind of debt besides my student loans, but I still felt that kind of pressure. And then I got to watching a bunch of Dave Ramsey videos and a bunch of other like financial videos on YouTube that were really good, but they made me feel this overwhelming pressure, almost like a rush to go ahead and pay down my debt and, and become debt free. And so the first message I wanna give to anyone who's trying to become debt free, I would say this, when you look at debt, it's most important to look at the amount of interest that you're being charged on the debt. That's gonna tell you how quickly you need to pay it off. For example, student loans have pretty low interest rates, like probably between three to 5%, sometimes lower. But something like credit card debt, on the other hand, is like 17% on average. That's a big difference. So if you miss a payment on a credit card, that interest rate is gonna one, eat you alive, two, you'll have to pay a fee, and three, it's gonna be that much harder to get out of credit card debt. Whereas student loan payments, you don't get those same types of consequences. Now, you never wanna miss a payment on your debt, period. I'm just giving you a comparison right there. But the reason credit card debt is so dangerous, and by the way, I'm not one of those guys that's here to tell you that credit cards are bad. I think credit cards are fantastic. But I am here to tell you, if you mess up and get yourself in, let's say, $5,000 in credit card debt, and you only pay the minimum payment, whew, it's gonna be forever before you get out of debt. You have to pay over that because the interest rate is constantly going up. So there's gonna come a time where you're only putting the minimum payment in there, but it's basically like you're only throwing a couple dollars at it because the, the interest rate, and I'll get more into the interest stuff later, but what I wanna tell you is something that's super important that a lot of people don't really think about when it comes to paying off debt, and I think it'll be really helpful for you. Don't think of paying off debt as paying off debt. Instead, think about it as saving money. Something that you have to really get good at if you wanna get out of debt, especially in a fast manner, you've gotta get really good at saving money. If you know your minimum payment is gonna be $250, you already gotta have $250 laid off to the side. If you wanna pay over on that to get out of debt faster, what you'll have to do is get really good at putting away more. And that just simply means you have to prioritize what is important to you. And if you wanna become debt free, what has to be important to you are two things, saving money and getting out of debt. And ironically, those two things are gonna be synonymous in this video. If you want to become debt free, you have to have those two things. Remember, I didn't title this video, How to Get Out of Debt. In the title, it says, to anyone trying to become debt free. And in order to become debt free, that means no more debt enters your life after this. You have to have a certain set of behaviors and you have to have money saved and you have to be out of debt. So first you have to get out of debt and have money saved. Boom. That's how you become debt free. So how do you get there? I'm always going to refer everyone back to this video, but I made this video, how to master budgeting and saving money. It is a golden video. It didn't get a ton of views, but that's okay. It's a golden video as far as the discipline of budgeting and how to save. And the, the whole point of that video is to get you to save your money first and then spend what's left. So most of us, what we do is we, we get our paycheck, we spend our money on our bills, on food, on miscellaneous, blah, 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 clothes, shoes, cool. And then we save what's left. And what's left of that might be, let's say $300 but you want 100 for yourself, so you save $200. Whereas from the very beginning, if you were like, nah, I wanna definitely save $700, and you take that away, and then you pay your bills, so long as you can actually afford your bills without that $700, all the miscellaneous stuff, that comes, that comes secondary, because the priority right now is to get out of debt and to save money. So if you use that $250 from that $700 that you saved, right? you have 450 left. So let's say you take another 200 and put it on top of your minimum payment for your debt. That's gonna help you get out of debt a lot faster. Then you would have 250 left that would then go in your savings account. 
and it might feel a little uncomfortable at first. It might feel like you're sacrificing or like you can't really live the lifestyle you wanted to. That's kind of the point. When you have a limited amount of money, you really have to prioritize what is important to you. And if getting out of debt and saving money is truly important to you, you you're gonna have to sacrifice some of that lifestyle. That's just how it is. And real quick, before I get to the next topic, I mean, I, I remember I was working crazy overtime. It was kind of against my will, but I also kind of wanted it because I wanted to get out of debt. But I just remember like, I was throwing thousands. Now this was some pretty out of control overtime, mind you. I was, I was doing like 70 hours a week. But I was throwing thousands of extra, like on top of the minimum payment, I was throwing like extra thousands on top of that just so I could get out of debt quicker. Because at the time I made it a priority. To me, there was nothing more important than saving money and getting out of debt. Those were my two top priorities. There was nobody that could tell me different. Now what I did right was I stuck to my guns and I made my priorities my priorities. I didn't mind making sacrifices. I didn't mind spending thousands on my debt and then living very frugally when it came to food and lifestyle and stuff like that. I might've been making about 80 grand a year at that time, but I wasn't living like I was. I wasn't living a lavish lifestyle. I wasn't buying new things. Like I barely bought anything for myself at that time because my priority was to get out of debt and to save money. Where I jumped the gun at was where I wrongfully prioritize the debt like i think i could have spent a lot more of that time and energy saving my money and investing while paying little by little on that debt because for one it wasn't that much debt and two the interest rates were extremely low and doing the saving and investing could have further increased my net worth while also bringing down my debt but that's just my situation everybody's situation is not the same but i say that to talk about this point right here if you want to become debt free, you have to have a strategy. And there's two very well known strategies. There's a snowball method and the avalanche method. If you've watched like any of my videos before this one, you know that I know that the avalanche method is superior. It is the fastest, the best way to get out of debt. I don't care what anybody says, but for the sake of this video, I will 100% go over both methods. So the snowball method, the one that is not superior, <laughs> It's good, it's psychological, it gives you motivation. A lot of people do need motivation to keep pushing through debt, otherwise they get discouraged and then they stop and then their debt pretty much continues to grow and they never essentially become debt free. And that's a really sad thing. So the idea for this method is to one, pay the minimum payment on your debt, but then find the lowest one as far as numbers go. Like for example, let's say you have three credit cards and one has $100 in debt, the other one has $200 in debt, and the other has $300 in debt. So the idea is you pay the minimum payment on all of them, but then with any of the extra money that you saved that month, like I just talked about getting really good at saving, you wanna take that extra money and throw it all towards the $100 one because you knocked that one out and now you only have the other two to focus on. It's psychological because you're, you're making small wins every single time you pay off some debt. So it might take one or two times and that $100 you own the credit card is gone now, boom. So now you only focus on the 200 and the $300 one. And it goes the same way with student loans. Like I don't know if you have student loans, but the way they work is, let's say you have $20,000 in debt, you'll have like an alphabetical order type of student loan. So you might have class A where, the, where you owe 2000, class B where you owe 5000, so on and so forth. And it would be the same way. You would focus on the lowest price first. So you're knocking one down at a time. It's a very positive feeling process. I've done this before. It's a very positive like process, but in the grand scheme of things, it is a lot slower than its superior, which is the avalanche method. So the avalanche method, so we're gonna use the same exact example. Let's say you have a $100 credit card, $200 and $300 credit card, all three of them, right? You're gonna pay the minimum payment on every single one of them, but you're gonna look at which credit card has the highest interest rate. So let's say the $100 credit card has a 17% interest rate, the $200 credit card has a 25% interest rate and the $300 card has a 16% interest rate. You're gonna go for the highest interest rate. You're gonna throw all the extra money at the $200 one because that one is going to grow the fastest. That one's gonna have the most consequences behind it if you neglect it or if even if you just keep paying the minimum payment on it. That's how you get out of debt, the fastest number wise. And from there, you would knock out the $100 one because it's growing by 17%. And then you would knock out the $300 one because it's growing by 16%.
that's how that works. And it's the same thing with student loans. Like I said, they have like an al alphabetical category. Let's say class A is 2000, class B is 5000, but class A might be at 6% and class B might only be at 2%. And so you're going to attack class A first because it's growing the fastest. So numerically, it makes more sense to do the avalanche method. So you want to look at this in terms of percentages, not just prices, but percentages. 2% will never grow as fast as 6%. So you want to get rid of the 6%. Boom, that one's gone. Now attack the other one. And it won't feel like you're winning as much when you do this one. And it feels like a slow process at first because you can't really see that, oh, I paid this one off and I paid this one off. But the thing is, if you're looking at the big picture, you're paying your entire debt off so much faster if you do the avalanche method. Because a snowball starts like a snowball, gets bigger, gets bigger, and it has like, you know, one of those cool effect things, right? Where it turns into like a snow boulder and it knocks everything out. But the avalanche, starts off big it knocks the big ones off first and then it knocks the small ones off and so it's quicker and that's why the avalanche method is superior but if you don't mind spending a little extra time paying your debt off but you just want to see the wins i would say definitely go over the snowball method but the avalanche if you just want if you don't really care about all that you just want your debt to be gone as quick as possible the avalanche method is how you do it go for the interest rates i'm telling you that's what's killing you, not the, not the prices. The interest rate is what's killing you. That's why you must go for the interest rate. And then once you do that a few times, wash, rinse, and repeat. But again, you have to get really good at saving money so you're good at throwing this extra money towards debt and you're good at understanding, okay, I'm not gonna have this $500 this month because I'm dedicating it to my debt. And then other money that would have been spending money, I'm putting it in my savings because I have to be financially responsible. And once you do that, once you get used to it, it'll get easier and easier. And whichever method you choose, I won't judge you even if you choose a snowball method, but whichever one you choose, choose one, stick to it, and get out of debt. And then, once you do become completely debt-free, what I want you to do is focus in on saving your money heavily and investing your money. That's gonna increase your net worth. And then from there, you. And then from there, I want you to do what you can to not get in debt. Now, unless it's like you're buying like property or something, then that's understandable debt. Like that's what you would call good debt. Like you're buying your first house. Like I don't expect you to buy any houses in cash. You get what I'm saying? But other than that, you really want to do what you can to avoid debt at all costs. If you truly do want to be debt free. And I know sometimes emergency comes up and sometimes we can't control things. That's why I say, that's why I said throughout this whole video, not just getting out of debt is what we should focus on, but also saving money on top of that. Then once you're out of debt, once that priority is out of the way, then you can double down on that saving and you can build your savings account and your emergency fund. So that way, if you do run into an emergency, you can pull from there, but you won't be going into debt because it's nothing like getting out of debt only to get right back into it and then tell yourself, oh, okay, in about 11 months, I'll have this paid off, then I can focus on this. And then it's, it's just a very discouraging way of thinking. And a lot of us, unfortunately, have that situation, but taking this advice in this video and really taking it to the extreme. I mean, when I say you gotta get really good at saving money, go look at all my videos on how to save money. I give you so many tactics, so much game on how to save money. Go watch my how to master budgeting and saving money video. That video gives you the game on saving money. I want you to get good at this. I want you to be debt free. I want you to be able to sleep at night knowing, hey, my finances are good. My budget is looking good. I ain't got no debt. You know what I'm saying? I want you to be able to say that. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some effort. And it's gonna be definitely some ups and downs on the way. But I'm telling you, you can 100% do it. And thank you so much for watching this video. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this. I definitely enjoyed making it. It's talking about debt is something I don't really do that much on this channel, but I figured I would talk about it because a lot of us are in the situation where we're in debt, we don't know what to do. So I wanted to really speak on that in this video and hopefully you got something out of it and you enjoyed what you saw. Anyway, this is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay cold.